office. God gave him a office above every other office. And when you come connected to that office, in my name, because why? You're operating in the office that Christ operated in. His name was an office. In the mighty name of Jesus, you in the office. You decree what the word of God says. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is your understanding of that name would release the power. By Jesus, he ain't had no power. But he named Jesus. Plenty of people in this world need Jesus. They ain't got no power. You better make sure what Jesus you die, you know, you are dying to fire away. Because when prayer, you say in the name of Jesus, I don't even know nothing about Jesus. It is his word. It's his word. Him and his word is one. God and his word is one. So once I have his word, I have him. Once I pray his word, I pray Jesus. Y'all see? Huh? I pray Jesus. So what I say, when I pray the word, I say, in the name of Jesus. That's the word. That's his word. His word connect him to his name. Amen. My God. Jesus. You're jumping, 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 doing it. Then you know why you're jumping. You're jumping and when, when the feeling go, you still go back in depression. You still go back. Being defeated because you think that it's all about just jumping and jumping and running. And you get no word in you. You know, most believers don't like the word. Don't like the word. Boy, but if you can say, yes, sing all night, all night. Oh, boy, they're singing dance. Yeah. They're singing, they're dancing, they're dancing, they're dancing. They don't care how tired it is. And then go back home and be, still be defeated. Because you can't dance yourself to a temptation. You don't rebuke the devil with the dance. That's, that is not scripture. What do you do? You're not dancing and you say, Demon in there! <laughs> devil say, look here. <laughs> Amen. You don't rebuke the devil to dance. How do you rebuke the devil? How do you rebuke the devil? Oh, come on church. Come on, talk to me back, man. The word. The word. So if you don't know it, can you rebuke him? No. You see the you see the problem now? You see the problem? Huh? If you don't know it, you can't rebuke demons. Jesus, I know, Paul, I know who is you. Amen. You have no identity in the spirit. There's no connection between you and God. So there's nobody backing you up. When you cast out demons, the reason why a demon comes out, the reason why a demon comes out, when a believer casts them out, because the demon recognizes who's backing you up. Okay. My my confidence in the realm of the spirit, Andrew, Andrew's casting out a demon, right? What the spirit does look at his spiritual capability. Can he do it? Do you have enough grace to do it? It's going to what kind of spirit he's dealing with. Because every spirit, they're, they're not the same, but they have different ranks. Jesus' disciples, a man born the son of Jesus, Jesus' disciples, um, they can they can cure him. It's not like they didn't know, they didn't see it done before, but they just didn't have the capacity to do it. Huh. 
Well, why did it happen? Why couldn't they did it? They was not to that spiritual level of grace to deal with that spirit. This kind. This kind. This kind. They was not to that spiritual level to deal with this kind. You see? And a lot of times because where we are spiritually, this is why we get no results. You're trying to deal with something strong, a stronghold, and they ain't going nowhere. Most people are, I pray against my generation and patience right now. I do stronghold, I demolish, and then they just say, you saying something. And let me tell you what you do. You trigger them in demons, say, shake in them. Now you come on under attack. And then you don't have the capacity to deal with them when they come. Huh? They come, say, bring the press, they bring discouragement, they block everything. And then now you're upset, 